What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> so someone asked me the other day on my Facebook page <clears throat> why I went with Intel over AMD. Well, there's a lot of reasons and a lot of factors that kind of factor in. It's not just so cut and dry, uh, but basically it always comes down to price to performance. I want the most cores, the fastest RAM, the most RAM, the fastest graphics card that I can get for the amount of money that I'm allotted to spend. And when I was doing my price to comparison factor, I found that I could get better performance out of my, out of going Intel versus going AMD. So like, for instance, you know, I found that the AMD processors were just as much as money as the Intel processors, but I could get more cores out of my Intel versus I could the AMD. Same with motherboards. Motherboards were way more expensive for the AMD side than they were for the new gen, 10th gen Intel side. So when I started to do a price to performance comparison, I found that Intel was a better buy and a better choice for me. And then on top of that, there was a lot of little factors that weigh in. And I actually went through and wrote down a lot of these factors. The first one that I was thinking about is that, you know, AMD has way more maintenance to it. A lot more maintenance comes when you run an AMD system. It just seems to be that way. Intel seems to be more reliable. I can put the system together and not really worry about it, you know, but AMD, you know, AMD, their processors have a better single core performance, but Intel has better multi-core performance on it. So that's just kind of where it seems to be. Also, there seems to be a lot of updates on the, Ry on the Ryzen BIOSes before it was right. Um, in the early first gen Ryzens, there was so many updates taking place that it was insane. You almost had to wait for them to get it all sorted out before you went and bought a Ryzen platform. It was crazy. Um, the AMD drivers, a lot of problem with AMD drivers. I don't have any problems using Intel drivers, but I seem to have a lot of issues with AMD drivers. Uh, the Intel brands seem to come with a higher megahertz count versus the AMD side seems to come with a lower megahertz count. Uh, it just kind of seems the way that it pans out for me. Also, Intel. Intel has way more support. There are more programs and apps that are compatible with Intel than there are AMD, just by far. Also, Intel is a lot older than AMD. AMD just recently started to put out gaming processors only about five years ago. And what I mean by that is that they started to put out processors that could compete with Intel on that level. And that was the beginning of the Ryzen series, the Zen architecture. Okay. Uh, so yeah, AMD is the only about five years old versus Intel that's been in the business since before time. You know, also when you are looking at prices like RAM, you have to buy faster RAM for AMD, which usually results in more money. Also, you have to buy very specific RAM that works with AMD. You have to, you just can't go out and pick RAM and hope that it works with an AMD system. You have to make sure that it is compatible with AMD. Intel, you don't have to worry about that. Any RAM will work with Intel. No problem. But with AMD, you got to be kind of specific about that. You know, 
the the AMD BIOSes for the motherboards is way better than the Intel BIOSes on the motherboards. If you've ever dealt with both motherboards, then you know that the AMD BIOSes, the way that they had them set up, is a lot easier to use than on the Intel side. But that's not really a big factor for me, considering that I can work both of them. So anyway, Intel motherboards seem to be more reliable out of the box than AMD. I'll give you a prime example. I own five AMD boards and I own five Intel boards. All of my Intel boards are good. No problems. None of them were dead right out of the box. None of them later died. None of them had issues. Now with my AMD, two boards. All right. I bought an A3 an A320, it was dead on arrival, and then I bought um, a B350 gaming motherboard by AMD, and it was also dead on arrival. So that is two out of five motherboards that were just dead, didn't work. I seem to have better reliability and better luck and easiness of putting the system together with with Intel. When it comes to AMD, I have to make sure all of these check boxes are checked before the system will even turn on. With Intel, it's not like that. I don't have to worry if I have all of this compatible crap and if the motherboard's even going to turn on. Do you guys remember when the first series of Ryzen came out? When you would turn the system on, you kept getting a black screen, and that was because of a BIOS update, you know? Uh, so I just find that there is there is more downtime with an AMD system than there is with an Intel system. Now, when it comes to AMD, I seem to have more hardware failure than software but when it comes to intel i seem to have more software related problems so with amd i seem to have more hardware issues when it comes to intel i seem to have more software related issues now my favorite motherboard brands are zeus evga and gigabyte all right and the reason why I use those three brands is because they're extremely reliable and they have outstanding customer service. But these boards are the most highly used, highly compatible motherboards that you can find out on the market. I don't recommend ASRock. Um, I bought three ASRock boards. Two of them were dead and then the third one died on me. So that was the end of my ASRock adventures. Um, but you know, there is definitely, you know, let's say that Intel is an eight and AMD is a seven and a half. Like that's how close of a comparison you're dealing with when it comes to AMD and Intel. And really it comes down to what are you doing with the computer? What kind of task are you using it for? You know what I mean? Um, AMD seems to seems to have better machines built for rendering and you know editing and doing things like that versus Intel seems to do a little bit better over here on the gaming and hard networking side of things so you know I I kind of had to think about all of this stuff when it came down to getting either the AMD board or the Intel board but the bottom line was is that the bottom the bottom line was the price to the performance. I wanted an i7 or a Ryzen 7. I had to have at least eight cores, okay? I needed at least eight cores. So I looked at the two comparisons. Well, the Intel, the newer Intel was slightly more expensive versus the Ryzen. 
but the motherboards, the motherboards for AMD were significantly more money than the Intel boards, you know? And then we kind of relate it back to the whole problems and stuff that I just kind of rambled off on you guys. But those are basically my thoughts um, why I went with Intel versus AMD. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comments below. I hope you guys like this. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and thank you guys. I appreciate y'all. Y'all be cool.